Hello, 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 everybody. Thank you so much for being here. It is now the 13th of March, which is mind blowing. Uh, we know. I do want to say one thing it's very calm. There's not a lot of talk coming from corporate. And what does that mean? I know what it means to some of you panic mode. What does it mean to me? Big things are happening. Big, big things are happening. And every time there's a little bit of quiet, like for a week or 10 days, boom. Of course, some of us forget that, and some of us get shaky, and we start that running around the sky is falling thing. Well, that's not me, and it shouldn't be you. Anyway, um, we did have a – we didn't do trivia last night. Last night we just chatted, and – Dan and Mike joined, which I was surprised. I didn't know they were going. And so did Jeffrey Morlock. So we had a, a loose discussion, but it was all uh, personal opinions of certain things. Anything I say, unless I say as said, is my opinion. It's not fact. Uh, in fact, if you hear from any so-called leader and they make a statement that you don't see written in the back office, or if they don't say as said, it's just an opinion. Okay, we all have one. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but there's new videos out all the time, as you can see. And we have a lot going on. A lot of people are stepping up, which I'm really excited about. Yesterday, uh, I didn't, we, it wasn't planned, but I did kind of give my version of the journey of what went on, not just with me, but what I believe the best I could relate about Ask Me Farah. Uh, and once again, that's my opinion, the, the way I read it, the way I saw it. So if you want to look at it, go ahead and watch it. Looks like it was pretty popular. That was unplanned. Everything we do is unplanned. Uh, I don't have a script. I don't want one. I can't work with one. I have no desire to get one. Um, I just want everybody to know that there are Many, many, many things going on behind the scenes. They do not come out and tell us everything. There was a time period where we heard a lot more of the little details. The problem with that is it caused more anxiety than it, it caused, hey, that's great, because people just either they don't get it or they are afraid. I remember Ash would come up with something and they people would automatically think, Oh, does that mean that this and this isn't happening? No, it means this is happening plus what we heard the week before. So it's better just he comes out when it's a done deal. I love it. It's okay. It's good for us. Uh, in the meantime, don't get yourself ready for this trip of Unpassive after we already get started. When this bottleneck or whatever you want to call it is opened and we have more flow and money's going out and money's coming in that is the time now you could say okay i'm going to plan on what i want to do me maybe me being gina leva me being abdi also me being yvonne finn uh cynthia deering robert mcgee one of us but plan now start looking at what what is it that you want what do you want out of it maybe you just want freedom Maybe you want to work towards getting out of that job. I understand that. Trust me. I understand that 100%. No way. I, I didn't like working when I did work. I love my job. I was fortunate. But look, I love this more. And what this is going to do for a lot of people. Because my opinion, a job is a, is a pyramid. And I never liked where... The guy at the top always does the best. That's not the case in Unpassive. I really believe, my opinion, a month from now, six months from now, a year from now, there will be people that finally get it. And I'm talking about people that are actual marketers will come into Unpassive, see what it really has, and they're gonna they're gonna go crazy. They're gonna there'll be people that come in and, and they're influencers that might come in and bring in five, ten thousand 10,000 people in a matter of weeks. Yes. Now, the beauty of that is they could be in your 
so-called sales team, which is great. But I'm just saying, they're coming. They're going to see the tools. Look, everybody needs, I talked about this last night, everybody needs tools. As I was discussing last night, when we marketed online, and I love marketing, okay? For me, it's like chess. I love playing. I love playing the, the chess game of marketing because it's not cut and dry. You have to make an ad. I'll give you an example for Facebook, which is really difficult, is you make an ad, has nothing to do with anybody, clicks on it or nothing. You have to satisfy Facebook first. So you send the ad in and they go, denied. It doesn't meet our standards. Now, that's pretty freaking general. So I got to go in and figure out what did I put in there that goes against the, 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 you know, the laws of Facebook. And they're not very clear. So I'm looking at words. I'm looking at maybe a picture. And I'm going to tell you, if there's too many words in the picture, they'll deny it. If there's a word in your ad, they could deny it. Really, no joke. So you do this little modification, little modification, and then you go and they say, your ad has been approved. Now you run into the, the big deal. What? Is anybody going to click on it? You know, you know why you click on stuff, or maybe you don't know why. Something's going by in your feed, and it catches your eye, and what do you do? You click on it. Now, when you click on that, if it's a sponsored ad, look in the top left. When you click on that, they pay for that, whether you do anything or not. It's 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 what they call a a click. Now, if they click on it and they put their name and email in, that's good. That's a lead. You're still at the point. Did they? If they put their name and email in, that means they're in on passive now. That's good. Trust me. That means they're in the free or whatever, and they're at least looking. That's beautiful. But all those things have to line up with the moon and the stars. It, it's not what you think. And it can be difficult. I explained to people, if you look at what we needed to market was a maze of apps, bypasses, tunnels, toll booths, all these things to get everything to work together, click, 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 like a watch. Because there wasn't one place that had it all, like on passive. That's why I'm telling you, when people see what on passive has, it takes that mess and makes it very easy. The beauty of it is, you being early bird founders or whatever we want to call ourselves, you get to be the expert. You get to be the hero. Because Ask made it so that you can take a page. Tell them down the road, I want you to drive traffic here and get paid, targeted traffic to go anywhere you want. You don't need to go through the, the game plan or the chess, the chess game of will it work? Will somebody go after? Now, you might modify it, but see, when you add O-Tracker to it, it will tell you where did it go. Now, you might go somewhere and get a lot of clicks like a boatload, and you go, whoa, whoa, look at this. But nobody opts in, so you might have to make an adjustment. Now, the cool thing is the company is going to give us pages that we can promote, and they know which ones work and which ones don't. So we're ahead of the game. Everything they do, they just hand it to us and say, hey, here, have fun. Do you have to do it? No. So anytime I'm saying something, you don't have to do anything. I'm just saying there's something in life that's very valuable. It's called time. I'm 64. I'm not 44. I'm not 34. I want to do it quick so that I can focus on whatever revenue I can generate through on passive for a little bit of effort of my own, a little bit, all the effort from on passive and get where I want to get quicker because I do want to help people. I do want to bless others. Giving is so much fun. It, it, the feeling is so cool. I didn't realize how great it felt. But as I got older and, and had helped people when I could, 
that feeling is beyond anything you could imagine. Yeah, there's little toys guys and girls want. Okay. But when you get past that, what really matters is totally different. You listen to some of these people that have all this money. They're looking for things they can do to change the world in most cases. Well, a lot of people don't like somebody. Automatically, people don't like billionaires. I don't know why. They're not all bad people. Some of them spend their whole adult life trying to make the world better. Whether we like it or we don't like it, they get a bad rap. How do I know? Ask Mufara. You got a bad rap. Why? People made up crap. And if enough people say it, they believe it. Listen, right now, there's a lot of things being said, and people believe what people said just because they said it. They don't look into the facts. That's a guarantee. That's sad, but it's a guarantee. Go find out. I find out. I really do. I, I make sure I find out. Somebody says something, 20 people say, this is what happened. I go, how do you know? Because this guy said it. Really? You you think he might be telling the truth? Maybe, maybe he's not. Why don't you go look for yourself? That's what happens. That's what I think we should all do. We know as before, yeah, the stories are horrendous and all that. Do I get it? No. But you know what? I never understood why 2,000 years ago somebody would sacrifice, uh, put Jesus on a cross. I don't get it. What did he do bad? He spread love around. He went for people that were poor. He healed the sick. Yeah, what a nasty guy he is. We should, we should nail him to a tree. Do I get it? No. Martin Luther King spread what? Nonviolence, nonviolence. How did he die? Violently. Violently. Do I get it? No, I don't get it. Nelson Mandela believed in something 27 years. They threw him in a freaking cell. Why? Did he hurt anybody? No, because he believed something that was good for people. So when I hear people in the shadows, I'm not comparing them to somebody that killed somebody, but some people live in that area. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't try to get it. Some people wrap their head. Why did the guy say this bad? I want to change him. I don't want to change Scott. You think I'm going to change somebody's mind? You think I could sit down, go back in time and tell Sir Han, Sir Han, hey, while you're walking through the crowd to kill Bobby Kennedy, I think it's a bad idea. He, didn't, he's, he still would have done. In fact, he would have shot me too. Come on. You, life goes on. So what do we do? We, we, we surround yourself with people that don't believe that way. That's what we did. On Passive, we're all together. We believe positive. We know things can be better. And we're in the best company in the world. <clears throat> don't get wrapped up on what you can't fix. Don't get wrapped up on people that don't think the same way you do. Look, it could be family. In fact, family's the worst person to bring up about a business. Almost always. Why? Well, you're just Marty. Oh, break do you know? Right? You're just uh, Gemma. You're just uh, Listra. No, but in here, you're somebody special because everybody's special here. So just remember that. Don't get wrapped up on that kind of stuff. The other thing with unpassive, when you don't know what's going on, I don't understand it. When, when people call me and say, what's going on? I'm passive. Yeah, but yeah, but details. They're building the biggest company in the world. No, no, no. I mean today. Today? I don't know. I think S got up at 1.30 p.m. He drank a coffee. Really? I mean, what do you want to know? What details? They're building the biggest company in the world so that me and you and everybody that wants to be involved will be life-changing. That's what's going on. And if you ask me tomorrow, that's what's going on. And when are we going to be able to bioconnect? When the credit card thing shows up. When are we going to get OConnect, the new version? When you click in the back office and it's there. Do you really think the company's holding everything back and going, hey, tell you what we're going to do? Don't collect any money. Don't pay anything. Let's just give them another 10 day extension. Yeah, but that's going to cost us $5 million. That's okay. I love losing money. 
cuckoo, cuckoo. I mean, it doesn't make sense. So when somebody asks, they don't ask me. Chris gets them all day long. What's next? Did you hear anything? And he says, no, I don't know. He's a liar. He does know. The company's building the biggest company in the world. It's go Every day that goes by is one step closer to being where we need to be so that you, me, Chris, all of us can live a life we only dreamt of. And we're going to be able to bless others. That's what's going on. What will be going on in an hour and a half? Same thing. Tomorrow? Same thing. So when you ask and you're going and you want every little detail, right now, Mohammed Mazal is getting on an airplane. He's looking for his seat. He found it. He sat down. He's happy because it's by a window. He's going to Hyderabad. I don't know what's going on every second. What the freak do we care? We know this. A army of people are building a life for us that we can only dream of. Don't focus on all those little who cares. It's not going to get there sooner because we we go, oh, I've heard people say, well, we need to hear something soon. Really? Why that? Because if I don't hear what I want to hear soon, I'm going to go to an MLM and lose nine or $900 to 1000 bucks in five months. Is that what you want to do? No, not really, but that's my plan B. How about you skip plan B? Let the company finish what they're doing, and you think about your dream. I got an idea for you. All this spare time that we're worried about every little detail, let's all look at what do we love, what are our passion, and let's start working on that. Let's start a group and own that that has to do with what you love. I'm going to give you an, a prime example of somebody that took the time and did something good for herself. You ready for this? The lady's name is Lori Lunn. Lori's going through a bad time, right? Money's not flowing in at all. You know what she said? Well, I've sold a few things on eBay, and every time she gets where it just looks like it's not going to make it, God picks her up, and now there's only one set of footprints in the stand. He carries her through. And you know what she does? She sells stuff on eBay like a freaking professional. I, she blew my mind. She holds stuff up. What'd you pay for that? $2.50. How much did you sell it for? $85 or $250. I'm going, oh my God. Is she getting by? Yeah. Three months ago, she was dead in the water. Two months ago, she was dead in the water. One month ago, she, but she's still going. She didn't give up. She's not focused on these stupid little things. Yeah, does she need it? Absolutely. Do I need it? Absolutely. I mean, hundreds of dollars of food Jaden goes through in a night? Are you kidding? We have to buy three pieces, one for Jaden and two for the rest of the family. No joke. One for Jaden and two for everybody else. Yeah, and if there's a couple pieces left, Jaden will clean that up too. That's what he does. So she went out and did something. I'm really proud of Lori. I, I worried about him. We prayed for her. Lori is amazing. She gets in and she's real humble. Yeah, well, I put this on eBay and I sold it for 300 bucks. I'm like, every time she brings it up, I'm like laughing inside going, this lady's tearing it up. I don't know if that's her passion, but I tell you what, I tell you what, in fact, I'm going to say it again. I'll tell you what, she could go into, I'm passive down the road, go into the area where you can sell stuff and all that, right? Like, what's it called, Chris? Um, marketplace, okay? And clean up. She's got jewelry. She's got everything. I don't even know where she's getting it from, but she goes somewhere, gets stuff really cheap, really nice, though, and sells it on eBay, and people are mobbing to pay for it. It's amazing. So I wanted to give a shout-out to Lori because she's freaking amazing. But a lot of people are doing that. A lot of people are, you know, um, Ivy Mix. She's going out to get another degree. Yeah. She's not sitting around going, well, you know, I'm not sure. I can't find this. And 
do you hear what this guy said? Did you see that guy's video? Just he's bad mouth. So what? Some little freaking that. Let me tell you something. Some of these people that everybody's worried about. I want you to take a rhino's ass, okay? And you put a flea on it or a fly. He doesn't even know it's there. This massive ass, <laughs> this massive company of unpassive, there's a couple gnats and flies flying around. They don't even know it. They don't care unless we point it out. They're going to disappear. Facebook, when it first came out, they had flies and gnats bugging them. Trust me. Amazon, same thing. Watch the movie. They had flies and gnats that you're no good. You did this. Who do you think you are? You're going to sell books with Barnes and Noble coming online? What are you, some kind of moron? He's one of the richest morons on the planet. And Barnes and Noble, who? Who the frick is Barnes and Noble? I don't know. They had buildings all over the place. You drive down the road, there's a Barnes and Noble. There's another one. Another one. I'll give you an example Blockbuster. Drive down the street, get a video. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Go look at the story. Blockbuster could have sold out. Not me. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stay status, status quo. Status quo yourself right out of a business. There are none. I think the last one finally died. There might be one somewhere. They're done. Kmart. Hey, Walmart's coming up. It's a nickel and dime place. Some hillbilly from some state out west comes up with a nickel and dime. I'm not worried about Walmart. I bet you're not. You ain't worried about it now, are you, Mr. Kmart? Things change. Things move on. We're part of that big change. And because it's something that's never been done before, we have to wait. Do you really want it to go fast? I don't. I want it right. I never, you know how many companies I joined and in 90 days they're gone? Most of them were 60. Some of them were never launched. We spent two months in this pre-launch. We're bringing people in. We're building it. This is going to be the best thing since sliced bread. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Boom. Down for maintenance. It's still down for maintenance five years later. Because it never happened. Because they build it wrong. This is being built. If you build it right, if you have the right foundation, then you can build on top of it. Ask Peter in the Bible. Because you're a rock, I, I will build my church upon you. It's about the foundation. Foundations matter. And the foundation of Unpassive is freaking massive. Does it make sense to me and you? No, but why would it? How would it make sense to me? How would Unpassive make sense to me? No matter what I did in my life, I never was involved in something this big and massive. Never. So I'm going to take the word of some moron on YouTube? I know what's going on. My name's Snakey McNakey. Yeah, well, that's a weird freaking name. And you're a ghost like Casper. I don't believe in Casper, and I don't believe in you. You can't even put your name on what you're talking about. Come on. Let's just think about it. Let's relax. But start looking at your passion. Don't tell me you don't have one. I talk to some of you every day. You have things you like and you love and you want to get involved. Use Unpassive to get there. Ride this secretariat as far as you can. No joke. Anyway, I know I talk about the same stuff, but I really, I really think that we are involved in something that just is mind-blowing. And we could ride this to the rest of our lives. And for our for our kids, for our grandkids. Yeah, that's what I love about on passing because I don't get it all. I don't understand it all. I, I never will, but I, don't, I know I won't. But what I do see and what I do know, what's going on, is there any update? Yeah. They're building the biggest company in the world and we get to be part of it. What's the update in an hour? Same thing. When you see a new old connect, that means it's ready. If we get an update, when, when he gives an extension, he's given it 10 days in a row. Why? Because they think they're that close. Or he gives six months. 
They give 30 days, 10 days. We're that close. We're that close. That's what I believe. It's my opinion. So be cool. Look at you. Look at what you want out of it. Don't push the, Don't push it. A diamond is ready when it's ready. Gold be, is gold after pressure and time. I don't want a fake ruby. I want gold. I want a diamond. I want a gold company and a diamond company that will be around for the rest of my life. And my children. Chris, it's all yours. I got nothing. <laughs> I think you touched on just about everything. I did uh, notice a couple questions in here. Marty, I sent you someone you need to get rid of uh, to your messenger. Check that's out on your channel, not mine. Um, one of the questions in here is why is nobody using our products and only YouTube and Facebook? Well, let me explain to you. We have 3 million people plus using our products. Why do we use YouTube and Facebook? It's called free advertisement to bring them to our company. Whether you know that or not, I'm not sure why you don't know that. Uh, the only way to see on passive is to join uh, our three products to check it out yourself or just join period. That's why we use these other channels. It's like, uh, here, let me give you an easier way. I use the company I worked for for 32 years, Ford Motor Company. They advertise their cars in the newspaper. The dealerships advertise their cars in the new newspaper magazines. Why? Because that's what it's about. We're using the uh, Facebook and YouTube exactly the same way. Uh, free marketing, free advertising. That's how this world works. I don't know if you know that or not. But every company advertises somewhere else. And I, and I, I want to give you some real exciting news. In the future, those advertisings could be on your on passive website. And you could be getting paid because they chose to advertise on your website, Ford, GM, Chrysler. So that's why we are using Facebook and YouTube. And Marty, you could touch on that anytime you want. I don't care because I know it's the truth. Uh, but that's what's happening. And passive is putting you in the ring of everything. I don't really want to know about other companies, what they're doing. I only really care about what a passive is. What other companies, what other what other companies are doing, has nothing to do with a passive, because a passive is unique, it's different. Ashmafar didn't want to be like any other company. If you remember that, he wants to be different and unique. He wants it first, and going to be the last, because that's what he's going to do. Now, a passive is going to constantly keep growing. Uh, if you heard for a long time. Uh, Ash has said, I want to stay five, 10 years ahead of everybody. That's why he is hiring the people that he's hiring. And that's what he said to us. Oh my gosh, three years ago when I first started in this. All right. Five to 10 years ahead of everyone. And what you don't know, well, that's already happening. You don't see it because he doesn't talk about it. He talks about the now. Uh, he gives us every once in a while something in the future. Uh, Irina, Stack, Sella, whoever you gave it to, thank you very much. Um, it's, it's about things that are happening and you don't know it all really right now. Everyone's cared about or worried about two things that I get the questions every day. Hey, when are we getting paid? Hey, when is O connect going to come out? Okay. There's two things that they're working on. There's another 150 things that they're achieving. We just don't know about it yet. If you look in some of the O media, uh, you'll see what's going on. Uh, he's just not talking about it yet, but you can actually see in these other uh, on passive.com with, with Professor Susan, Dr. Tarek, Nizel, and I'm a Nizel, Mama Kamal are doing. So, you guys think he's just working on the O Connect and the pay? No, 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 he's working on a lot of things. And what did he say about a passive? It all connects into everything, everything's connected. So once he gets a few of those connections going, it'll happen. I got to believe my personal opinion that there's some things that he needs to iron out and maybe it's not moving as fast as you want. I don't want him to move fast. I've said this before. I want him to move right. When you move fast and you rush, what happens? All right. I was rushing back to my car because I was frozen and I fell and broke two ribs and it pop popped a lung. Wasn't good. If I took my time and just relaxed, and endured the pain of the cold and the wind, I would have been okay. That's what Ashmafar is doing. 
He's enduring the pain of the cold and the wind of people that are impatient or maybe really need it. He understands that, but he can't stop what he's doing and say, I want to make one individual happy. He's working on the entire world, literally the entire world, making them happy. He wants to put a smile on everyone's face. He wants to put food in people's stomachs, shoes on kids with no shoes, no clothes, fresh water. This is all the things that he's doing Why we're worried about O Connect or the pay strip. It's already done. There's just having some things that were torn and they got to repair them. That's it. Uh, I, ca- I said it yesterday, this is the calm before the storm. Any day now, here, you could say this. Since last week you said Marty's big saying, any minute now. Any minute now, Oak Connect is going to be released and the pay structure will be released. Any minute now. And I saw 3,000 people. Hold on, Lee. Let me call you right back. I'm on a live. So, it's my cousin. 100 feet from me. She's walking over here. Any minute now, all this is going to happen. And guess what? You're going to forget about the 4,000 times you sent me an email. Chris, what's going on? Hey, what's happening? Listen. I am just like you. I want it to happen. Marty wants it to happen. Ashley Farr wants it to happen. But it's got to be done right. And we've went over this a thousand times. And we've said it a thousand times. And we have to keep saying it a thousand times because we have the same questions that come at us every single day. So we want to keep you updated the best we can. So when you ask a question on here, uh, we'll give you the, it's pretty much been the same answer. Nothing's changed. Any second, though. Any second. Something's going to pop, and it's going to pop in your favor. And I will gave, you, Wait a minute. He gave me such a hard time for saying that. Now he said it three times, so <laughs> uh, go ahead. I did give him a hard time. Now, let's talk about Lori Lund. I call the horse whisper. okay? You're right. We've been watching Lori sell things off, just like my buddy Dan out there who's selling everything he owns because he's in a bad position. He's keeping himself going. Here's the glory of all this. I say this, I don't know. Any second, these guys are going to be buying things, not just selling what they've always owned. Uh, I was in a position many years ago where I did have to sell things that I own to keep myself going. I know exactly what they're going through. I also know the respect and love they have for doing that. Some of the things they're selling are very personal, but they got to pay their bills and they do it anyway. And they know it's material things. But I can't wait, and I will do show this, uh, my buddy Dan, Lori Lund, and a lot of other people watching you buy things, maybe a new home, a new car. And I'm going to say, remember when you guys were selling everything you owned? Oh, yeah, we bought all those back, too. That's what I'm waiting for. And that could happen any second. I'm letting you know, Chris Johnson with this torn Kleenex in my hand, because I get angry because people don't, still don't have faith in this company. I have put all the faith I have. And the two things, number one, God, and number two, Unpassive, because I believe Unpassive is going to change the world. I believe it's nothing but good, no evil. Even though I got people that throw evil at me every day, they're evil. Not Unpassive's evil. They want to turn it into that, but that's not how it works. You're evil, you're evil. If you are not a part of Unpassive and you constantly get on here every single day or send me texts and rag on me about I'm a nut job, show pictures of me that I'm fat, I know I'm fat. Hey, that's that's the way it is, guys. I'll get skinny again, but you ain't going to get any smarter. I can tell you that. You're always going to be evil. I choose God's path of being the best person I can be. Do I get angry? Yes, I do, because I'm a human being. Do I want to revolt against some people? I Sometimes I do. Most of the times I don't. I'll usually, I'll usually hit Marty with it, and he'll tell you that. I'll let, let Marty have it for a little bit because I'd rather let him have it. And he usually calms me down, straightens me out. Or Red or Robin, or Julie, or Charles, or Peter, any one of them. These guys I know I can go talk to. And they are going to straighten out. Straighten out. I got another phone call. Straighten out what's going on. But right now, stay on the path of faith. This company is going to completely change your life, whether you believe it or not. But I suggest you just believe it. Stay doing what you're doing. If you got a job, work the job. If you hate the job, man, I did it for 32 years. I hated my job. And I don't like that word hate, but I did. Why wouldn't I? Why would I like something that I got to get up every single day for, drive two hours to get there, 
work with some of the miserable, rotten people that I had to work with. Sorry, it's the truth. I don't hear anyone saying that. God, I can't believe Chris did that for 32 years. But my God, Chris gets in a company that wants to change all that, and Chris is a lunatic. Why? Because it's never been done before? Well, I'm here to tell you, I would trade that 32 years for three years and then pass it just because it bettered me. I seen Gina Leva, one of my favorite sisters out here, wrote something a little bit ago. Even if I never made a dime in a passive, it changed my life for the better. And that's what it has. I look at things a hundred different ways now. All right. I look at everything good. When I see someone in Florida standing on a corner, work for food, need food, need some water. I don't turn away. I want to help that individual. And that's what a passive is doing to all of us. You are going to be, I'm going to say this. You are going to be blank beyond your means. You are going to be blank to help many people in this world, including yourself and your family. Notice I said blank. You fill in the blank. You should already know what blank means. You got it? You should already know what the blank is. Ash Bafar does not have to come on here every single day and assure you. You should have been assured day one that you got in this. He has said more things on webinars that put you higher up. And the next day you're doubting it again. My God, get rid of the doubt. Grab some faith. Hey, hey, Ash, Ash, if you're listening, I believe in you. Marty believes in you. All these people on here believe in you. Yeah, we got a couple of Nimrods. That's okay. You're always going to have Nimrods. You're always going to have people that don't believe, but they don't want to leave. They don't want to leave just in case, but they want to get out their opinion. And, man, this guy sucks. Let me tell you something. Ask Mafar is going beyond what any of us thought he was going to do. Even Ash Mafar will say, I can't believe it got this big. He works harder, smarter every day for me and you. He's not sitting on a boat sucking a margarita. He's not sitting in an RV in the middle of Florida enjoying himself. That's me. I'm enjoying it. Wait, wait, wait a minute. He's not on no. the beach? No. We, 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 we called him. He was on a private jet flying to. Oh, to right. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Like people think. He's not spending any money, guys. The only money he's spending is out of his pocket to keep him passive, to give it better ideas, to hire the smartest people in the world. And that's exactly what he was doing. I told him the other day the coolest thing that Ash Bafar ever told me was a story about when he was 14, because I've never heard that from him, and about his professors. And they're now working for him. Why? Because they're smart. They're intelligent. He knows that those individuals that he'd seen when he was 14 years old, they took him to the next level. Now, Ash Bafar is going to take them to the next level, but they're going to help. He didn't, he didn't hire me. <laughs> and say, Chris, I need you to help me build a global company. No, that's not going to happen. But what he did say is, I believe in you, Chris. I believe in all people, no matter who you are, what color, what religion. Okay? Me and Ash Mafara, we're, we're different religions in many different ways, but we believe in God. We believe in the good path that it's going to be taking us on. All right? People ask me questions about that. Listen, that's none of my business, number one. I know what I believe in. But because I believe in something doesn't mean I'm going to knock what you believe in. That's not a passive. A passive, we accept all, period. So you don't have to send me those questions anymore. But I'm going to tell you this. I've never had so much love in my heart for something, and I never worked as hard as I did for something, and this isn't work. This is about telling you, wake up, smell your coffee, which has got a lot of cream in it today. Know what you have, and be ready for a different change in your life. Be ready to start buying things instead of selling everything that you had your whole life. Been there, done it. It's no fun. I commend you, Lori. I commend you, Danny. Keep yourself going. When this happens, you're going to forget about that pain. We talk about pregnancy all the time. I can't have a baby. My God, there's no way I'd be able to have a baby anyway. Thank God it's the ladies because they're tough. But hang on to what you have. If you need to sell something to keep yourself going, don't quit your job. I know a few of these people lost their jobs. My buddy Danny did. I know that. So after 23 years. So more than anything, that's the people I want to see when a pass really explodes. Ah, Chris, is it happening yet? Not yet, but it will. Keep doing what you're doing. Ash Mafar has said it over and over. 
keep doing what you're doing. Let me get this right. Let me get this settled. And then you'll forget about that question anymore. So today, if it's your birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday. Um, I'm waiting on results for Bill Must. He had his test yesterday. I've not gotten it yet. Still pray for him. Talk to Robin. I haven't talked to her in a couple weeks. Uh, she's still going through a lot of stuff. She needs prayers. There's a lot of people that are sick out there. There's a lot of people that probably lost someone in their families. Our condolences. That's one thing that we all, what I love about it, Passive. Stay kind. Do we get angry? We all get angry. Come on. Come on. I got some guy mad at me the uh, about a month ago because I called him a name. But he called me multiple names. And I went. I dropped down his level. And the guy couldn't take it. <laughs> so I try not to call people names like idiots and stuff like that. I, I never. I don't like calling them. In fact, I've never called you one name. Have I, Chris? Yeah, no. And if you can't. If you don't see the closeness of our relationship, we call each other every name in the book. Marty basically says, I can't, but I got to be around him. It drives me nuts. Uh, it's probably why his hair is not growing back real fast because I put him more pressure on him. But I do it because I love him and I believe in him because he's kept me higher. He's kept me higher than Cheech and Chong's best day. Let's put it that way. Uh, Marty is my um, super drug where. If I'm down, I could call him. He could pick me back up. And I have things I could be down about, too. Do I talk about them? No, I don't. Do I wish people didn't have any problems? I do. Regardless regardless what happens in Unpassive, how, how big it's going to grow us, somehow we're going to always have something wrong. But uh, when you're set better in life, it's a lot easier to handle some of these issues. I promise you that. But I'm talking way too much. Red is coming on at 11 o'clock. Okay. Uh What's the, when we have no 360 today, we moved. I do want to remind you again, next week I am going fishing in the Gulf of Mexico. I think it's Monday through Thursday. I'm not sure. So I will not be on. We're discussing 360 might just get moved or canceled next next week. Could be moved to Friday. I don't know. But me and Red and Marty will talk about it. Marty, Red's got a funeral coming on the 27th. He will not be on 360. But here's my promise again. No matter what, we have an agreement. If one of us can't be on, we don't do it. But I'm telling you right now, if something pops while I'm in the middle of the ocean, you better well do 360. You got my permission. Guys, 100%. I will break the agreement. Ask Mafar, I can take my place. Absolutely. Or Muhammad or Dr. Susan, any one of them, they can. So, But that's how we do it. I love every one of you. And I'm not preaching. I'm telling you the truth. I don't preach. I don't preach at all because I'm not a preacher. I'm a freaking auto worker 32 years. And 10 years plus that with other, everything else. What I am is a regular guy that joined a company that I seen was going to change the world. I've never left sight of that. I've never let go of that. And I keep going no matter everything that you think is bad, I look at it as good. Everything that is breaking, it's a positive because I'd rather have a break now than when everything's flowing. Marty Zagarmo, back to you. Thank you. A couple, a couple of you, thank you so much for the super sticker. That, that means a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. You don't need to do that, but I really appreciate it. Um, what I want to tell everybody, and this is a, this is a secret. You could share it with other founders, and this is, without a doubt, this is true, and this is a big, big deal. So think about what I'm about to say. I don't know if I should, but I'm going to. The magic of Unpassive, here it comes. I can't believe I'm going to say it, is you. The magic of Unpassive is the people. I've said that from the very beginning. Look, we already know we're going to have the best product. We know it. We already know we're going to have AI. We already know that Ash has surround himself with geniuses, crazy geniuses, like the best of the best. We already know that we're in something we've never even dreamed of. What we need to know is the power of the people. Listen, you can get like-minded people together, four or five, but hundreds of thousands. Do you Can you imagine the power that's going to be unleashed when you take people that no longer, eventually, okay, eventually, that the thought of do I have enough goes away. Do I have enough is completely gone out of your vocabulary. What you are going to do to impact this world. A good-hearted person that has has the opportunity to do what they need to do to gift others and to bless others. 
I just cannot imagine the impact that we're all going to have. I see my chihuahuas here. Abba. Yeah, she knows what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, thanks, everybody, for coming. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. It was really, really good. Gene just said it. A wave of goodness. A, a, the biggest wave you've ever seen of goodness. I believe that with all my heart. God bless everybody. I'm so happy to be here. Um, if you want to come to trivia and just have fun with each other, come do it. It's a lot of fun. It really is. Uh, sometimes we know, sometimes we don't know. Sometimes the win, men win, sometimes the women win. That's a byproduct. The main thing is to be around a bunch of people that believe what you believe, love what you love. It's pretty powerful. But the power of this company is the people. Never forget that. You are the power of this company, without a doubt. Anyway, I'll see you all and God bless.